Alrighty, Craig, thank you very much. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Comfort Shoes. Need the proper fit for your new winter footwear? Visit us across from Irving and Newport. Alrighty, this morning, winter storm warnings are posted as well as winter weather advisories. They are dropping this morning, though, so we'll get those out of here as we will be transitioning over to rain from the snowfall, but the wind will remain an issue as well. We have high wind warnings that are posted through this afternoon at around 1 p.m. Same with the wind advisories further off towards the south and west and also some flood alerts that are posted as well. We also have some coastal flood warnings up this shaded green area here. We also have some other flood warnings that are posted as well as, as, as aerial flood watches that are up. So we have a lot of flood alerts that are up. We also have hurricane force wind warnings. That's what this color means. That's also in effect as well. Storm warnings up because of the active surf that's causing wave heights to reach up around 21 to 22 feet. According towards some of the buoys, they're not as bad with this buoy here at around 12 feet, but you get the general idea. A lot of gusty winds causing the ocean to get active though with this precipitation and the strong winds moving in. So the snow has been falling out there this morning. We're going to keep this going throughout the rest of the daytime period today, at least in the precipitation department. The snow will switch over to rainfall throughout the morning period. So we're already starting to see this transition now. Notice that transition line tracking from the southwest and going to the north and east. So we're going to be switching over to rainfall as the day progresses on. Let's zoom things out and give you the bigger picture here. So there's a snowfall right there tracking from the southwest and going toward the north and east. We're going to be switching over from the snowfall to a little bit of a wintry mix and eventually to all rain with this area low pressure right here that's tracking off from the southwest and going toward the north and east. This will also give us some gusty winds again, reaching up to 60 miles per hour at times, and that will cause some power outages and even some trees to go down in a few spots. But notice as we do move forward by later on this evening, maybe a few leftover rain showers and things will begin to back off. Then, of course, as we head towards your Thursday, things do begin to improve, though. But we will have to watch for maybe a few flurries possible as we head towards Thursday night. But I do believe we'll stay dry for the most part with the most cloudy sky. A few flurries still cannot be ruled out Thursday night. And then here we go again. Another bigger system on the way as we head towards Saturday morning, the afternoon period. Kind of deja vu again. A wintry mix will be on the way. We'll break this one down as we get a little bit closer. As for any additional snowfall, again, most of it will be ending by this point, though, later on this morning. Anything additional will be very minimal at best, but we will have more rainfall on the way as well. Another inch or so of rain possible before we're all finished up with this system. So a forecast coming up for the rest of today. Up 40s that winter mix will switch over to rain damaging wind gusts expected knocking power out and also knocking some trees down with that gusty southeast wind reaching up to around 60 miles per hour at times by tonight upper 20s rain showers are early than decreasing clouds that southwest wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour tomorrow upper 30s party cloudy and breezy southwest wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour all right here is look at extended forecast brought to you by comfort shoes will be mostly sunny on friday with highs in the low 30s upper 40s saturday another winter mess moves in here and there are party cloudy Sunday with highs in the low 30s.